I don't think he should get away with it, but I think that he will. Yes. And I think that that's an absolute disgrace. Um, and I think the thing that bothers me the most is not necessarily uh, that I won't ne- get to London 10 minutes quicker on a train. Um, it's not that, is it? It's, it's that, that you would have had a seat. You could have sat down and you could have worked. It's capacity more than speed. You could have commuted from Nottingham to London on a regular basis without uh, any particular difficulty or inconvenience. And that, that may well be the case. As someone who doesn't rely on yeah. the trains as well, as often as, as my best friend does, um, I don't necessarily feel the, the pinch points in the way that, that he might, but he also articulates a view of, well, actually, it, it would have only got him to London 10 sure. minutes quicker if he'd have picked the right train. Um, my, my biggest concern is, and this isn't necessarily about people in sort of stately homes or anything like that, there yes. are a lot of people in the area where I live who were facing very real prospect of losing their homes. We're not talking about people who are particularly well off. We're talking about people just managing to get by, uh, forced out of homes because the track was going to go right through their living room. And, 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 and now my it is. The question isn't. is, I suppose, how many people will have already lost their homes and they won't get them back, but the track's not going to happen. So it's the ultimate insult. But they've already been priced into the calculation, haven't they? They've already been hugely alienated by the plan to do it. So scrapping the plan to do it isn't suddenly going to make them more alienated or more angry with the current government. So, I, I mean, if I am, I'm obsessed with these ideas of cynical calculations. They're just ballast, aren't they? They're just, they're just collateral damage that isn't going to swing one way or the other, according to today's announcement. They might end up even crosser, even crosser with the people in charge than they were before, but they were already cross with the people in charge before. Ergo, no votes lost. I think you've anticipated what I was about to say. And if I were in that position, I'd be absolutely outraged. Yeah. And, and I'd, I'd be livid. And, and the sad thing is that these people probably live in places where their votes haven't counted for much over the last few years. And so it doesn't really make much of a difference, as well, you said. It'll just get the, in because... Yeah, I mean, this is the weird bit, because you know there are a lot of constituencies in, in the relevant areas. I haven't broken it down along that east-west divide that Nigel Harris just described for us where these these are not big majorities. They're not the big enough majorities where you think you can go off and work, uh, you know, 80 hours a month for an investment bank and, and, and then squeak something silly about how if my constituents aren't happy about it, they can vote me out at the next election. These are wafer thin. These are wafer, wafer thin majorities. And they appear, the Conservatives holding those seats for the first time in history in many cases, they appear to have just been um, absolutely shafted, which means the calculation must be people aren't going to care or notice. I can't see what I else the calculation is. I, live in a consti- I do feel for them because I live in a constituency where the MP turns up literally only when it's time to, to campaign and then she disappears again. She's mm. been vaccines minister for God knows how long and she's done one interview. But she'll still probably get elected next time. Yes. Well, we shall see. So, I, again, you reluctantly endorse my suggestion that the calculation might just be that the way the whole... HS2 story has unfolded and been reported means they've that their calculation is they can stick it all on the scrap heap and people won't understand or know enough about it to get as cross as the people who do know about it think they should be. Yeah, and the sad thing is, is actually what they could have done is put the money into, I think it was Andy Burnham suggesting sort of not that long ago or not that many years ago that that money could have been used to create better connectivity between the cities in the north and that would have had a more. Well, they've scrapped that as well. I mean, it's, it's one of my one yeah. It's one of my favourite railway journeys actually from from um, York or Leeds across to Manchester. It's absolutely beautiful, but that was going to be um, uh, 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 replaced or upgraded, and it isn't anymore. It's, it's they're going to put a new line in there, and they're not anymore. They're going to revamp the one that is already there.